Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today I'm going to be talking about two Kiali fragrances that I feel like you need to really pay attention to. So that is going to be Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper and Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. I don't think I've ever mentioned this in one of my videos. Okay, so let me start off by telling you my thoughts on the brand Kiali. Guys, the longevity is poor. Let's be fair, like I've spoken to so many people in my time um, and pretty much everyone agrees that the longevity really is poor. Um, and these ones that I'm going to talk about, they're okay, but for dark, sexy scents, you would want them to last maybe like six to seven hours. However, um, I do maybe get like four to five hours, which to be honest, isn't too bad, you know? But I just wanted to get that out of the way. So longevity is usually poor. Um, and they're very, very popular. Like people in the world really do love Kayali brand. Um, I appreciate the scents. I feel like they're very good for layering, mixing together. And the scents themselves, they are very nice, and I think the advertising are very fun. Um, the way that she, the way that they do it and stuff, it's very cool. Um, and more often than not, like whenever I do test the perfume on paper, after I can't smell it, it's gone. So I've never really been able to like properly test Kiali fragrances. And usually in stores, they are empty because people love it so much. They literally drink it. But for some reason, like I remember before I put before I purchased these two fragrances. Um, for about a year or so, I was trying to find them in stores and I don't know, like, do, I, people never really talk about these two fragrances. I don't know, like, it's always vanilla or, like, the other ones, but nobody really talks about them in my opinion. Um, so hopefully, like, these aren't discontinued, <laughs> but guys, I love these fragrances so much and these are gen genuinely top tier. So if you're trying to buy a Kaoli fragrance as a gift, pay attention to these two perfumes. Okay, what else can I say? What else can I say? Um, about the Kiali brand? I think that's it. So let me just spray this. Oh, okay, guys, this is just stunning. I love the atomizer. This is very dry. It's Middle Eastern, exotic, aristocratic, very rich and wealthy. I wore this one time when I was seeing my dear friend and she lives abroad now. We still keep in contact every now and then, but she's a very dear friend and I remember when I was meeting her last year in November, I wore this and so I just have an association of this fragrance and... Do you know what guys, it smells like a drier version of an Oud Satin Mood by MFK, Mason Francis Codijon. So Oud Satin Mood, you have that, but it's less juicy, that's why I say it's dry and it's like incense sticks, it's... Very Middle Eastern with the rose, but a very dark, syrupy, sexy rose. Like I said in the beginning, the longevity is four to five hours in my opinion, just on my skin. But people do genuinely say that this is long lasting. Keep in mind guys, that I usually always sort of use like a perfume oil or a body lotion and I overspray. I am team overspray. So I genuinely think like the Kaali brand, they seriously need to do something about longevity because too many people, too many people complain about it. I mean, if Latafa and these affordable Middle Eastern brands, if they can have like fantastic longe longevity, why can't they? That's so weird, or not? That's so weird, right? But anyways, this is genuinely a ten out of ten fragrance. Oh my gosh, yeah, the incense—it's aristocratic and bougie. And I think that's all I have to say about this. Pay attention to this. And I think the number that's written over here, so 25, that's usually the attempts that it took to perfect this fragrance. So it took 25 attempts. Pink pepper. Oh, I don't really smell pink pepper. The truth is, guys, pink pepper in a fragrance usually ruins it, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, when I see oud and patchouli mixed together, that's usually a bomb and I can't buy it. However, I've made it an, exemp an, I've made it an exception for just this one fragrance that I'm going to talk about. Um, pink pepper always ruins a fragrance, usually. Um, and what else? Iris. I do not like Iris. It's just, it ruins a fragrance in my opinion. I don't know why. Iris just becomes very headache inducing, but this is just perfect. It's blended. It's very rich. So if you are a bougie woman, a bougie man or whatever, buy this. If you are a direct descendant of royalty, this is definitely worthy. A good quality fragrance and definitely worth the price. 10 out of 10. Okay, so guys, I was just talking about how I would never buy a perfume with Oud and Patchouli. This is the one time that I am making an exception. Oh dang, there's quite a lot. 
sorry, like a big dent, is um, I'm just editing the video and something that I wanted to mention that I forgot to uh, talk about is, you know this perfume, it's like it has a pretty big dent, but I haven't really used it that much, like I've enjoyed it at home, but this is a pretty big dent, can you see? Um, no, this one I understand, but I genuinely feel like, please let me know if this is the same for you. If you're a perfume maniac like me, um, I feel like our perfumes evaporate. Because I've noticed quite a few perfumes that I don't really use often. There is like a den, and yeah, I feel like maybe there is a bit of science if any of you guys know, but maybe because they're not in use, they just kind of evaporate into the air. <laughs> so anyways, I'll insert this little clip somewhere into my video. Um, but yeah, let's talk about it guys, do you have that issue? Because, what? There is no way that I made this much of an end. Anyways, like, peace. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this fragrance. Okay guys, so this is 100 out of 10. This is my number one. Okay, so the notes for this one are challenging. It's like creme brulee, oud and patchouli, which together creates a bomb. But I've only made an exception for this and this is the first and last time that I will. Um, because I have Montel Honey Oud and I like that scent, but oud and patchouli, they do not mix. This to me is so nostalgic to me. I don't know why, but I feel like it's the creme brulee, the sweetness. It's a a very sweet, enticing, juvenile sweetness with... Okay, in the beginning it's very challenging. You just get that patchouli and oud, but you kind of need to give it a few minutes to let it become smooth. So, if you're new to fragrance, do not buy this, guys. If you are a perfume maniac and you have a developed nose, feel free to buy this. It's very cozy, it's very warming, it's spicy. Does this have rum? Hold on, creme brulee, brown sugar, royal oud, sugared patchouli, golden rum, vanilla, oh, it's just amazing. This is a 100 out of 10. Guys, this is a perfume that I will always have in my collection. And it caught me off guard, but that's a pretty big dent, so... I need to start manifesting another backup bottle. Seriously, this is amazing. But, but it's more for, like, winter. I would say this is a water... water... Oh my god, I can't talk. Winter, autumn scent. And when it's cold, this will warm you up. The sweetness in this, in the midst of that oud and patchouli, drives me insane. It is perfectly blended. How many attempts did this make? How many attempts was this? Okay, so 64 attempts. Yeah, this is a 100 out of 10. Please, I would say try and test this out in stores, but you can never find it. Like, so I'm not sure if these are discontinued because nobody really talks about them. I hope not. But it is a 100 out of 10, and that sweetness is just top tier. It is god level. Ah, oh, this is so amazing. And I feel like this has better um, performance and longevity than Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. Yeah. And I think usually people say that this has fa fantastic longevity. I mean, for me, 5 hours. I mean, it's not too bad. In winter, I want to test it again, and we'll see how it performs then. But I think... This doesn't really fade away. It does linger. Oh my gosh, I love... I love this perfume so much. Okay guys, let's not drag this video for too long, but I just wanted to sort of... have this public service announcement. If you're looking to buy a Kayali fragrance, pay attention to these, because I do think that these are very special perfumes and nobody talks about them. And you guys know I like the underrated gems. Um... Oh my god, I'm just thinking, like, I need a backup bottle of this, but this is also, this is also gorgeous, wow. So, yeah, these are both very rich, bougie vibes. Ah, oh, I love, 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 love this. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know what your thoughts are on the brand Kayali. I think the campaigns that they do are so, so fun. Um, I like the bottles, I like the atomizers, but it's just the performance. Um, but that aside... Perfumes that I would want to try is the Coco Vanille, but I've tested that and it's usually like on papers and it's always faded by the time I'm home, so I've never really had a chance to enjoy that. And there was also another one that I bought a clone of actually, and I think it's like Invite Only. No, I'm not sure if it's Invite Only, it's like a, it has tobacco, cherry, vanilla, and it's like gourmand, oh my god, I forget what it is, but it's like a brown golden bolt, brown golden bottle. Um... Is it Invite Only Amber or is it Elixir? Oh god, I have no idea. But that one is amazing. I would love to test out the real thing, maybe buy a travel size. Um, because to me it smells like a chocolate cherry cake, mm, like a black forest. Mm -mm -mm. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please, please, please let me know if you own any of these two fragrances. If you have any questions about these fragrances, don't hesitate. Feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll help you. Um, but I think if you're a perfume maniac, 
and you like a bit of gourmand and sweetness and a bit of challenging notes, you already know. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.